This is Pat Barrett's song, Sales, in which he he begins the song by saying, falling is easy, staying in love is hard. And, and that's certainly on a human level. And I think people can really relate to that in, in marriages. But, but he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about the love affair. And it's like falling in love is easy. Falling is easy. Staying in love is hard, hard to be honest, and to keep our heart open. Yes. This, that's the that's the hard thing in a, in a world at war. Um, and then uh, Stephanie Gretzinger comes in and picks up uh, with, I'm finally seeing you were here all along. Your love wasn't absent. It doesn't come or go. Keeping our heart open is a hard thing. Mm-hmm. But, but to see, God, you have been here all along. Yeah. You don't come and go. And one of the one of the really beautiful truths that, that the sacred romance reveals is that God has been wooing our hearts all along, ever since we were children. Yes. Coming back to that, realizing, okay, I may not have felt you recently. The romance may not be present to me right now in ways that I'm experiencing it, but I can begin with, I need to keep my heart open and your love, your love doesn't come and go. Yeah, those lyrics, John, are just so right on for what to me is something I need to remember daily. You know, the 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 two lines that stood out to me the most were falling is easy, staying in love is hard. And it it reminds me that the infatuation stage feels really good and and is and is fun and is it, it is wild and it is beautiful. But with Jesus I do find I do need to focus more in my own life on how do I stay in the romance, not just experience bits and pieces that feel good and then move on. Exactly. But bask in it, stay in it. Exactly. Because God will do something. He is a wild lover. He is wild. Mm -hmm. And that's why the less wild lovers feel more attractive to us at times because we can control them. Wow. What God will do in his wildness is he will come, he will woo, and then he will retreat, not from us, not from us, but the experience retreats a little bit. And we think, oh, see, you know, I, I've blown it or he's mm-hmm. not with me or something. Where what he is doing is wooing us further in. Come, follow me. If you feel God like beginning to what feels like retreat or play hide and seek, follow him, chase him. This will happen to me in times of prayer. Um, I will be in a deep time of kind of what we do at the top of the of the podcast each week. I'll be in a deep time of centering prayer, releasing all things, turning inward, communing with the God who now lives within us yes. because Christ now dwells within these temples here. And then he will he will go deeper, like his presence. I can feel him going, now come deeper. And if I don't follow, it does feel like he left. It feels like, oh, well, you know, that's the end of our time together, where in fact what he's doing is wooing us and drawing us away from the world, away from our less wild lovers and deeper into him. Interesting. Which, yes. is, which is why I love, we're going to play another piece of the song now, because then he comes to, what do you do? And, and Pat sings, and then, and then Amanda Cook and Stephanie come in on this of, I let out the sails of my heart. Here I am, here you are. I let out the sails of my heart. In other words, I'm going to open that clam up I'm going to come back to be present to my own heart with you, God. I'm going to open my heart up to you, recognizing that your presence is here. I love the invitation. Will I live from the heart? Will I open up my heart once again to God? Yeah, it reminds me back in our first podcast in this series, we were talking about this story an ally had shared about dropping his oars and raising the cell and the expectancy of the wind of the spirit. I I want that to lead me 
not my own self-effort, not my own thoughts of where I should go, what I should do, that that God maybe won't show up, so I'll I'll take the lead. And this is such an invitation into expectancy yes. of, of God taking us somewhere, as you said, deeper and wilder. If it doesn't feel risky, you're probably not living from the heart. If it doesn't feel out there at times, you're probably not living Christianity as it was meant to be lived. And so what I want to do with the close of the series here this week with the invitation to let out the sails of your heart is, is how do we recover the romance? How, how do we pick up the trail again and follow the wild one where he's going? And I just want to give some different thoughts, some different possibilities of that. Let's just visit some different ideas that might mm-hmm. help folks. The first one is go back to where you last had it. Go back to when when you last were experiencing intimacy with God, when when your heart felt alive, when you felt that he was bringing something into your life, even if it's literally going through your photos on your phone. And you may have to go back a few years, but find those places and those moments, go, oh, that birthday party, that dinner, or that time at the beach, or I remember the first snowfall of the year, and I remember standing in the window, and there was just something so winsome about it all. Like, go back and pick up the trail. And Jesus did this in a really winsome way for Stacy and I several weeks ago now, uh, the movie The Jesus Revolution. Mm -hmm. Uh, We went and saw it when it first came out, and it's good. We recommend it, everybody, if you haven't seen it. But that is actually a piece of our story. Stacy and I came to Christ out of that wow. revival in Southern California. I mean, we were there. We were hippies. We were dropping acid. The whole story of the film, like it's almost like our story. And she was the pretty blonde, and I was the lost guy. And and um, but Craig and Lori, Bart and Tana, there were so many of, yes. uh, out of this ministry, actually, was born out of that revival. Watching that movie was so filled with nostalgia for us that it it was like it was like Jesus saying remember remember guys remember what that first love was like and what those early early weeks and months of 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 finding Jesus and being found by him yes and the bible studies we would go to